everybody welcome back to another episode so today on this small town america series we are in brobridge louisiana and i hope you're liking these little small town america series videos i'm doing of these small towns these little suburbs i just love the little quaintness of the little quaint quiet cities like this little towns the suburbs you know um and i hope you're enjoying these but today we're in brobridge louisiana which is the crawfish capital of the world if you guys didn't know that already and um just a quiet little place i've always liked brobridge it's just a it's it's nice there's a nice little downtown area old buildings you know some very nostalgic type stuff and i just wanted to show it to you guys i hope you enjoyed and all that we're going to start here behind me in this veterans memorial park that they're decorating for christmas right now as we speak and uh one thing about bro bridge i handed to them is they have a really nice as like i said this park behind me here that i'm talking about they have a really nice veterans memorial park and we're going to take a look at it real quick i hope you enjoy it i hope you enjoy the rest of the vlog and uh yeah let's jump right in and see what we can get into let's go Starting off here in this Veterans Memorial Park area. I wanted to show you this to start off with just because it's so nice. It's always good to recognize the Veterans Memorials here in these little towns, or big towns. And right next to it, as you can see they're setting up for Christmas already. It's a nice area. It's Korea. Next to it is Vietnam, Vietnam, Vietnam. And the war, Honor Roll War, World War II. Four Ward, Honor Roll, World War II. There's some names on there. It's pretty nice. Wish you could make out the names more though. Gotta really look close to see them. See here in this little park here, they're setting up all the Christmas decorations and trees and such. I love this little donut place. It's right next to the uh, Veterans Memorial Park here. It's called Cajun Donut Company, and uh, or Cajun Market Donut Company. I've had their donuts many times before, and they're very good when I'm in the area. I've had them multiple times. It's got a festive little look to it, almost like a uh, mid-century look to it. Nice mural on the side, too. Let's take a closer look at it real quick. Now, of course, like most donut places in America, they're not open at 3.30 p.m. <laughs> Some are, but most of them aren't. And this one's not open at this time either. But they are open in the mornings and they are excellent. They do have really good donuts. I've had them multiple times before and they are really good. But I love this mural. It's almost like a Las Vegas one, huh? Welcome to Fabulous Bro Bridge instead of, <laughs> instead of Vegas. It's pretty nice, huh? That might be my thumbnail right there. Check this out. This is the stuff I love. These old Coke machines. Look at that. Six cents deposit penny, then nickel. 
You ain't getting a sip of cola these days for a penny and a nickel. But look how awesome that is, man. Here's a Coke for you in bottles. Treat yourself to a Coke. Can you see that? Treat yourself to a Coke. Man, I love that. An old rocking horse. 50 cents. Kitty ride. 50 cents for one ride. That's one thing that's a that's nostalgic America right there. Americana is out front of the grocery stores and all that. You have the rocking horses that the kids couldn't wait. That was like a treat. I think it was genius. I know when I was a kid, my mom would tell me, you can ride that on the way out if you're good in the store. So Genius, straight genius. I love that oak tree right there across the street. So here's the Bro Bridge Library. And the donut shop we were just at is straight ahead, what you're seeing now to the left. You can kind of see that red and white awning back there. So we're kind of making our way east. And I want to show you guys St. Bernard Roman Catholic Church, which is a beaut to say the least. Look at this. Gorgeous structure. I love that big circular sun looking, I guess, semi stained glass. It's hard to tell in this gray, gloomy glare, but it's gorgeous. So driving from the church, kind of going north, this beautiful above ground cemetery is right next to it. And we're gonna go make our way around it and go towards the river here. Reminiscent of New Orleans, isn't it? They're not all above ground, but the majority of them are. Look at this cool little schoolhouse looking thing. Tunes on the Tesh. It's like a little schoolhouse or daycare or something. Might be part of the church because the back of the church and I uh, guess the school, might be a school also, is all back there. But across the street here is the Parc de Pont de Bro Bridge or whatever I said a while ago. These awesome oak trees. I don't see Christmas lights. Whoa, almost fell off the curb there. I don't see any Christmas lights on these trees, but uh, there are those hanging lights on the platform over there on the deck. The bridge of 1852, this turntable bridge was built in 1852 and replaced in 1891. The bridge was moved three miles downstream and served as a crossing for the community of Ruth until 1992. The bridge was in place when Bro Bridge was incorporated on March 14, 1859. 18, or April 1863, Confederate forces under the command of General Richard Taylor, that's interesting, had retreated up Bayou Tesh with a detachment of General Banks Union soldiers in pursuit of Major Power Galway in command of some of the New York infantry troops. On the afternoon of the 17th, I left my main column this is what the troops said, while on march through St. Martinville with my regiment and proceeded by a road along Bayou Tesh close to Bro Bridge. 
When within five miles of the bridge, 10 of my men whom had mounted encountered the pickets of the enemy whom they drove in, taking two prisoners and three horses. Shortly afterwards, discovered heavy smoke above the town of Bro Bridge, and on reaching the town, found the bridge from its main street across Bayou Tesh in flames. I was informed that the steamboats Darby, Louise, Blue Hammock, and Uncle Tom had passed up the bayou the day before, and having valuable stores belonging to the enemy, the enemy had, until within an hour of our arrival there, a force of 500 cavalry in the neighborhood of Bro Bridge. The poor of the surrounding country are suffering greatly. Kiwanis Club of Bro Bridge 2004. I read all that right there. Interesting. So this used to be, and I've known this already, this used to be a bridge, which I can show you when I get here, I can show you the bridge. We're gonna drive over the bridge. Oh. Looks like there might be a sugar kettle we've seen in the past. I don't know if that's what it is or not. It looks kind of like one, but not all the way. I can't tell. This used to be a bridge, and like I said, it was a turntable bridge. So you've probably seen those before where they kind of just spin around when they need to let a boat pass or, you know, whatever, a vessel pass. And so this part here that we're standing on used to be the bridge. And uh, you can see the bridge in the background over there. If I can zoom in for you. That's the current bridge. Obviously you see cars driving across it. This is the bridge. The one we're standing on now used to be right there. And that right there, this bridge, actually the one we're standing on here is where Bro Bridge got its name. It was called Palm, Palm Bro. Or something along those lines, which means the bridge of Bro. And this is the Bayou Test, which we've seen in many videos before. It's a beautiful river that goes basically north to south and cuts right through the heart of Bro Bridge, Louisiana. So that bridge right there is where the town got its name, or that spot. It was this bridge at that spot. These hanging lights here, but it's really pretty at night. Some people have like wedding receptions and photo opportunities and stuff here. This is a nice area I wanted to show you guys, but we are moving along. Anybody want a blue baseball bat? So it was built in 1901. First bank of Bro Bridge. Looks like a bank building, doesn't it? They always tend, to, back in those days, you know, mid-century, early century, they always tended to be on the corner with this corner facing entryway. They always seem to be like that. All around America, I've noticed. Really nice building, I like that lamp, the lantern. Hope it's not too loud for you guys. It's right here on the main street here. There's this old 
beautiful building here. I love the siding or whatever, this metal siding that it has. Look how nice it is on the inside. Very pretty. It definitely looks dated. But to me, that's what makes it so nice. Now we're basically on Main Street here in Broke Ridge and people love to come and walk through here and walk around Broke Ridge, especially in the optimal times of the year where it's, the weather's nice, you know, spring and fall. You see lots of people just walking around. And uh, so this is Janelle's, that's the name of the place now, Janelle's. It's a very popular little town. Of course, Broke Ridge is officially a city the city of Broke Ridge, but this, you know, has that small town feel here downtown and people love to come and just walk around. All right guys, well, it's getting colder by the minute out here and I pretty much went full circle around downtown Bro Bridge. And uh, I ended right where I started, as you can see right here behind me. I'll focus in for you guys. That is the Veterans Memorial Park that looks so pretty now because they put all their Christmas decorations up for it. See how nice it is? But I uh, hope you enjoyed that vlog guys. Just a walk down a quaint city. It's called the city, but small town. America in my eyes, which makes it it's just such a beautiful little town to walk around and uh, nice little shops Antique stores and all that stuff if you're in the mood to come and spend a day here in this area If you're driving through if you're visitors or if you're locals in this area already And you never really took the time to come and check out bro bridge. I hope I gave you guys a good little photo uh, You know a little what do you call it? an idea of what's down here 
And uh, with that, I'll go ahead and sign off. I'm going to do the sign off in the truck because it's getting cold outside. I didn't wear the right jacket for this temperature. <laughs> so walking around was not, uh, that was cold enough for me. But um, it's probably going to get pretty chilly tonight, I imagine. And uh, you guys have a great night. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I post more videos like this. If you'd like to buy me a coffee, feel free to go to my Patreon page. That's P-A-T-R-E-O-N dot com slash travel without a cause. Donate any, amount, donate any amount you want. It all helps. Trust me, every dollar helps. And I greatly appreciate it all. And uh, when you do, I'll give you a shout out in the video. If you do make a donation, I'll shout your name out in the video the next time I do a vlog. So uh, with that, you guys have a great evening, a great Thanksgiving. This will probably be the last vlog I do before Thanksgiving in a couple of days. So I'll see you guys on the next one. And don't forget to stay cool and stay tuned. And don't forget to stay tuned and stay cool. And I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye, folks. Mm -hmm.